What is going on? It's your boy Warner Brother, and we are back with some more Need for Speed No Limits episode 391 for day four, part one of the Thunderclap Live event. Let's get into it. Diving straight in. Day four, static. Now, before we do start, we're going to take a quick look into the store. See what's in store. Apparently, not enough. Uh, especially nothing I want to spend gold on. So, day four, let's dive straight in. I've done some more tweaks here and there. Give it a spin. Okay. Now, we need a performance rating of two four. We need a performance rating of 242 in order to move on to day five. Uh, but we have a considerable gap uh, before we even reach that. We need a 218. So that's more than 20 points of performance that we need to gain. Which a lot of it can be gained in the motor and the turbo. But... Um, as you can tell, I'm lacking gold for this stuff, so yeah, this is going to be interesting. Anyway, so we have a time trial, a rush hour race, a nitro rush, a nitro zone time challenge, so basically same thing, hunter race, and then a second nitro rush to round out part one. So let's dive straight in. Get some racing going. We are on it. Ooh, that was very close to the wall. And across the line. That's actually a pretty good run. Under 45 seconds, not bad at all. Again, I do find it weird that it does sound like a normal car, but it's electrified, if that makes sense. Like the electric motors don't sound like electric motors, they sound like a combustion engine. Like I expected to have a normal sort of like electric motor whine, but sort of like high pitch, sort of like the Volkswagen IDR electric race car, something similar to that. But you know, it is what it is, I guess. I'm not disappointed by it, just. I know one thing they that I did notice the RPM range because it's an electric car meaning it doesn't have gears it literally just you know one gear which is forward well two if you count reverse but we're not counting that but long story short basically it has the single gear and it doesn't like shift gears like a normal car does And across the line under 40 seconds. Not bad. Uh, 
the transmission segment, okay. Nitro Rush next. We get a turbo component. Laggy. There we go. Let's see how fast we can go through this middle section. Maxing out at 246 with nitrous. So not bad. Well under 25 seconds, so that was a good run. Now we have a Nitro Zone time challenge. So the seven Nitro Zones finish under 47 seconds, which is doable, I'm assuming. up there and across the line plenty of time left on the clock too under 40 seconds that was not bad at all I only missed one nitro zone too that was a really good run all right we are flying through these races next up a hunter race yeah not a lot of dialogue in this particular live event Man, something still isn't clicking. Across the line just under 30 seconds. That was not bad. I'm thinking we need to recruit a tech whiz. And I know the perfect unwilling volunteer. Oh boy. Not an unwilling volunteer. It's also funny because I've mentioned that we don't have a lot of dialogue. And next thing you know, we have a race that has dialogue in it. All right, last race of the episode. Ah, 
I wonder who this tech whiz will be. Bit of a scrape there. Oh, damn, how long is this one? I hope this is a replayable race because look at how long this course is and how many nitro zones I'm getting. Fantastic run, more than 10 seconds left on the clock. That was a long run. That, oh my goodness, look at all the money we got off of that. How insane, man. That was a crazy amount of cash we got there. Alright, so that is the last of the tickets for this one. Let's go ahead and add the materials that we can to the car. To our component. Okay, that helped out a lot. 720, or sorry, 521 now. Okay, that didn't do anything. Ah, uh, here we go. We can rebuild the ECU. And then add that in there. Okay. Not much left, so let's go ahead and hop into the store and refresh the store because we will need to do that. Oh, perfect. Transmission segment, wheel segment. So much good stuff in here, man. Add that there. And then add this to the wheels. And then we can rebuild the wheels. Alright, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Need Speed No Limits. Tune in next time for episode 392. For day four, part two of the Thunderclap live event, like and subscribe for more content. Also for motorsports and gaming content, I will leave links to different channels in the description, as well as a link to my Patreon, so you can become a member and help support the channel so I can create better content. It's your boy, Warner Brother. Much love, much appreciation, and I'm out of here. Peace.